with this week's one division, or rather last week's, because this is probably going to come out late, because the last few have. And if you're thinking, why are you not wearing Marvel for this week? I am. And yes, this is a dressing gown, because guess what? I got told about it's Friday night now. I just got told my boss at, by my boss at work today. I don't have to come in to do overtime on Saturday this week. So guess what? I'm going to laze about in my brand new, brand new chair, which can go all the way back. I'm just going to laze about in this, in my dressing gown, and just stay in bed till 5 p.m. And I don't care, because I'm going to relax this weekend. And we're going to start off the weekend by watching WandaVision, episode 4. Last week was probably the best episode of the season so far, of the show so far. Because we started finally getting some answers. Not everyone is quite so oblivious to the dream world as we thought. A bit of a hint as to who Geraldine, but I know her name, her name is Monica Rambeau. We got a bit of a hint to who she is. We finally got to talk, we finally got someone actually acknowledging Quicksilver. Because it feels like that guy, he was in an end credit scene of Winter Soldier. He was in Age of Ultron. He died. And... We didn't talk about him ever again, because that's exactly what happened. We didn't talk about him. Well, no one in no one in the MCU did anyway. But finally, some acknowledgement, some respect to Quicksilver. Put some respect on his name. Showing a bit of a villainous side to Wanda at the end of last episode, should we say. And my friends were putting out something like, when have we ever had a story in the MCU of a hero going villain? It would be a good story, but I don't want it to happen. Because, spoilers for Game of Thrones, probably mute for the next 10 seconds. I watched Game of Thrones, I loved it, and my crush was Amelia Clark. And what did they do? They turned a villain. And now it looks like they might be doing the same with my MCU crush, Elizabeth Olsen, Scarlet Witch. Which, I've been burned once by Game of Thrones before, do not do this to me now. I'm begging Marvel Studios doesn't do this to me now. Yeah. Uh, Wanda cast Geraldine Monica out of the... Out of Westview. The the dream. The dreamland. Where do we go? I want more answers. So. But we cannot get answers until we watch the next episode of WandaVision. And i got to admit, the first two episodes, I was like, uh, what the hell is this? But last week's episode, I'm like, yes, I am in. I am in. Wait, I'm waiting for all this to unfold before our eyes. So, shall we just get into Season 1, Episode 4 of WandaVision, starting now? So far by WandaVision. Ich bin Wanda. Ich bin... Geraldine. Wer ist das? What? Why is it in German? Is this a tr is this German stuff a trick by by the show or is it or have I got Disney Plus set up wrong for some reason? Oh, I know what this is. But yeah, I know what this is. This is everyone coming back into existence after Endgame. Well, during Endgame. I'm going to call it the Resintegration. Do you have a phone? No. I have to call my wife. Yeah, people are just coming back. Dana, where's my mom? Yeah, mom. Your mom? She died, honey. What? No, 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 you're mistaken. My Maria died three years ago. No, no, no. Which you... was two years after you... After I what? After I what? Oh, this is gonna be disappeared. Sword headquarters. Yes. This is gonna be a full episode about Monica, because I'm all for that. Uh -huh. It's been three weeks and you're the first to report. How are the numbers for the astronaut training program? Dismal. Lost half my personnel in the blip, and half of those remaining have lost their nerve. I know, Sword, you're home. Your mom built this place from the ground up. Okay. You grew up here. You're grounded. I'm sorry, what? Terrestrial missions only. <laughs> you're kidding. 
For how long? Who, who, whose protocol is this? Your mother's. She implemented guidelines in the event vanished personnel ever returned. There is one positive takeaway. What's that? She believed you'd come back. You'd be doing me a big favor with this FBI thing, but if you need more time... Thanos yeah. really fucked her over. Yep, there he is, the agent from Ant-Man the Wasp. James E. Wu, FBI. <laughs> the, the magic Mark trick he learned from... <laughs> From Ant Man. Pardon me, Sheriff. Would you mind repeating your claim about Westview to my colleague here? No such place. You're saying the town of Westview, New Jersey, doesn't exist. That's what I keep telling your G-man here, but he won't listen. Why haven't you gone inside to investigate? Because it doesn't want me to. You can feel it too, can't you? Nobody's supposed to go in. Where did the police car go? There it is. The field. What is it? Some sort of... energy field. Careful, Rambo. <laughs> Captain Rambo. Watch it. Rambo! Yep, there she goes. Captain Rambo. Captain Rambo. And and he and he's just left screwed over. Like the second he got someone who could potentially help him, there she's gone. Hello, that's Captain Innes. Nuclear biology. Artificial intelligence. Astrophysics. We got the full clown car. That means whatever the threat is, Sword clearly has no idea what they're dealing with. I'm a chemical engineer. No one cares. <laughs> Alright, Greg's here. She was one of the best things about Thor 1 and 2. So happy to see her back. I can't remember her name in the, in the MCU, so I'll just call her Cat. I'll just write Cat Dennings in my notes. What kind of data are you getting? I'm afraid that's highly classified. You can't see anything? How is she supposed to help with the problem FBI if no one will tell her what the problem is? I think this might be the most screen time she's ever had in a single scene. I need a TV. An old one. Like, not flat. A lot of different people finding one of them these days. You good to go? Yes, sir. These sewers will take you straight into town. Try to find there he is, Mr. Yeah, Beekeeper. Someone get me a useful visual, damn it. What was that? Who's doing that? Who are those people? Who are you wearing? Why are they here? Look, I know it's been a crazy few years on this planet, but he's dead, right? Yeah. Not flipped. Dead. My equipment registered an extremely high level of CMBR. That's Relic radiation dating back to the Big Bang. Yeah. Entwined was a broadcast frequency, so I had your goons pick me up a sweet vintage TV, and when I plug this bad boy in, voila, sound and picture. So you're saying the universe created a sitcom starring two Avengers? It's a working theory. Get me a transport back to headquarters now. That's a very working theory. Great work. Hey, thanks. I like that team up already. <coughs> she was the hands. Right. Radio on Wanda's kitchen counter, right? The next time she's washing dishes, which by my count happens about once an episode, barf, we'll shoot a signal to that little guy. This transmitter will mimic the frequency of the broadcast, and if my theory is right, allow us to speak directly to her. What does it look like to you? Like a retro version of a sword drone? Bingo. Why don't you colorize it? I didn't. Let's get this show on the road. Right? <laughs> I love this is coming together so much. And we've yet to see Wanda and Vision in real time. Wanda. Wanda. Who's doing this to you, Wanda? Wanda? Come on. Can you hear me? I'm here to help. Please, Wanda. Wanda it skipped. There we go. 
it downgraded the hazmat suit to a bee a beekeeper suit. And the world goes into black and white. Yeah. Did she just say the name Ultron? Has that happened before? A reference to our reality? No, never. Wow, this is different. What happened? Where'd she go? <laughs> Second Jump cut. Right there and the next she isn't. Wanda's not the best at her editing, is she? But where's Rambo? You've got to make it flow, Wanda. This would be a crappy TV show. Back out into the real world. Very villainous of you, Wanda. Oh, she left, honey. She had to rush home. Oh, God! Oh. What is it? What's wrong? That was a haunting sight. I have everything under control. Yeah. She's. She's made it. She's keeping them all of them there. Are you okay? It's Wanda. It's all Wanda. That was an insane episode. I love that so much. Great. Basically, basically catch it, getting us up to speed on what's been happening in the real world whilst we've been watching the last three three episodes. The reintegration. I'm going to call it that. Every, because everyone disintegrated and now they reintegrated. Reintegrated. It's it's reintegrated, isn't it? Uh Monica coming back. She was she was snapped away in the for the five years. And during that time her mother got over cancer, then got it back again and died. So yeah, Maria R Mar Maria Rambo had to live the last three years of her life without her daughter. That sucks so much. Thanos really fucked everyone over with that. Sword. We got introduced to Sword. What was the what was the acronym for Sword again? Sentient Weapon Observation Response Division. Great. Where a shield was strategic homeland intervention and enforcement enforcement and logistics division. I can't believe I remembered that. But I did. Since the last episode, I was thinking a lot about Monica, and it really does make sense that she would be a part of S.W.O.R.D. It makes even more sense that Maria would set it up. After all, her best friend is Captain Marvel. She she knows Nick Fury very well, and Nick Fury is head of S.H.I.E.L.D. So it would, it would make sense that Maria is a, a head, or was one of the founders of S.W.O.R.D., and it make it makes just as much sense that Monica is a part of that. But it seems like Monica is a space operative. She goes into space quite a bit. But she was grounded and sent to Westview to investigate what was going on. And there she met Agent Wu, Jimmy Wu. No one no one knows anything about the fucking town because it's a made up world. Try send try sending a sword drone in, gets gets absorbed and then downgraded should we say but not decolored to fit into the to fit into the world so i'm wondering now that when when wanda made everything in color did she do it just so that the things that were in color in a black and white world wouldn't seem so strange anymore she's trying to make everything perfect and when things come out when things are coming around strange or not perfect like uh, yeah, the the red, the red helicopter or the beekeeper, she just rejects it. Same same with Mon Monica as well. And then they brought Cat Dennings in, Lewis, uh, Doctor Lewis. I can't, I can't remember her first name. Sorry, but yeah, they brought her in to investigate it, and she was the only one who had any answers. She was the one who worked it out. So good on good on her. I like I liked the team up of Agent Wu and. Dr. Lewis. It was a good team up. And now adding Monica back into that to that team. Looks like it's gonna be even better. 
because I'm all into those three characters right now. They're very good. And they only need they only needed one episode to really get us to know them. And I love that they were going through the whole town. Like they they managed to get up the the whole sitcom thing and just viewing it in that way. With with retro TVs, should we say. They were just casting it was like it was like a casting call of the the people in the town in the sitcom. Mr and Mrs. Hart, Jones, Norm and Herb Herb Herb. They didn't cast Agnes yet, which I noticed. So we don't know who that she is just yet. But yeah. That little clip we saw at the end of the first episode of the woman's hands in front of the TV, that turned out to be Dr. Lewis. So I really liked that we were filling in the like we were seeing what was happening in real time in the real world whilst that was going on in the the fictional reality. And we got we came right up to speed with the scene with Monica and Wanda in the house. I I hate it. I hate see I hate seeing Wanda as a villain. Like she's 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 coming across as straight up delusional and a control freak, which is so it it's almost irritating to watch. It's quite irritating to watch someone be a control freak and straight up delusional. Our reality is interfering with Wanda's dream now. Because she just saw a dead vision, which is a if you're living this life with him as your husband and the person you love, then seeing him like that, I can imagine it would be quite traumatic. Yeah, she can't just sweep this under the rug right now. Cause the the seeds of doubt have been planted in Vision's head. He's starting he's starting to realise that not everything's quite as it looks. And yeah, Wanda's behind everything. She's the one who created the world. She's got all those people trapped. It is really going to be a case of her having to give up her perfect world. I hope that's what happens. I hope she manages to give it up and she doesn't just try die defending it. And she, she just goes out as a villain. I hope that doesn't happen. I said last episode, is this going to turn into a Wanda versus Vision? Which, it'd be a hell of a fight to see. But... I don't want it. I don't want to see Elizabeth Olsen as a villain. I don't want to see Scarlet Witch Wanda as a vi villain. This was probably my favourite episode because it gave us so many answers, but it's not answering the most important questions just yet. Like, why is Vision... I, I mean, I assume... It, it didn't... It's. I mean, we can sort of piece together the answer ourselves, but it's not straight up told us, like, why is this dream, why does this dream world exist, and why is Wanda here? It's because she's probably made it that way, and why is Vision here? She's made it that way. So, it, it's leading us to, we're working out the answer for ourselves, but it's, not, but it's not giving us a definite answer on those big questions yet. But it's answered so many more. Love this episode. This show is really getting me hooked now, like... I'm going, this was episode four. We've got five more episodes. So, yes. I love it. So, I suppose that's... If you want to see this full length, you can go over to my Patreon and watch it for the $5 a month tier. For One Division, that's all we've got this week. Until next time, we are over and out. Bye!